What is up guys, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, everyone, I'm going to be doing a Antergos 14 uh, cinnamon review. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first, you can see I'm here on the desktop, and of course this does, as I said, use the cinnamon desktop environment. You've got your, um, you know, your everyday typical uh, cinnamon desktop environment. It's just like Linux Mint because, of course, the Linux Mint that most people use is Linux Mint Cinnamon. Um, so here you have the menu and the very nice and also very customizable um, desktop. Um, yeah, you've got your system tray, all of that. Um, yeah, so first, um, at f the first thing we are going to be looking at is the menu. So let's go ahead and open up that menu. Um, so right here you have your Nemo, that is a um, type of file manager if you guys don't know, so that is this right here, your uh, directories, your file manager. Um, yeah, and right here you have Chromium, it's just like Chrome, but uh, it I think it's um, I think it's called the open source version, I'm not 100% um, sure about that because I don't do that much research on um, Google and Chrome and all that. Um, next you have lock screen, uh, log out, quit, shut down this computer. Of course, you know what quit is going to do. It's going to shut down your computer. Uh, and log out, we'll leave the session. And uh, lock screen, lock the screen. And you here have accessories, and in the accessories one, uh, in the accessories um, application section, you have archive manager, calculator, <coughs> disks, fonts, HP device manager, Nemo, screenshot, text editor, and virtual keyboard. And I'm not totally sure why it is showing HP device manager because my computer is, as you all know, my computer is an Acer Aspire F15, not an HP. So yeah, graphics, you have document viewer, image viewer, and photos. Internet, you have AV8, A H I SSH server browser, Chromium transmission, uh, Office document viewer, and um, yeah, you guys can read all of these. Um, I installed Simple Screen Recorder so I can make this video. Um, yeah, originally, guys, I was going to dual boot um, this uh, with my current Linux Mint machine, but uh, while I installed it, it doesn't have a install alongside. Um, option so I didn't know how to do it correctly so I accidentally formatted my uh, SSD and now it's just a, a Antergos machine um, which is perfectly fine if I enjoy Antergos I might um, use it more typically but if we have a look right here I assume uh, this uh, I am only using 12 gigabytes because um yeah free space 6.8 gigabytes because um I was of course trying to dual boot um, See, so yeah, more in the menu places you have. That's the uh, you know <clears throat> all of your files and stuff. Preferences, accessibility, account details, applets, backgrounds, and etc. Um, <clears throat> administration. Yeah, we've got our terminal right here. I'm not sure. Does this use the uh, you know sudo apt install? So let's try something like sudo apt dash get install. Um, let's see. What's one application that I always install using the terminal? Uh, hit in live. Okay. Okay, so, um, you guys might need to help me out here because, um, it seems like it uses the same, <coughs> uh, terminal environment as the, um, as, uh, not, not Farin OS, um, what's the other one? Solus OS, that's what it is. Um, and I've, I don't know how to use, uh, this terminal. So, uh, just leave a comment below at the end of this video telling me how to use that because, uh, yeah, I, I haven't been, you know, working on the, um, this kind of terminal and stuff, uh, you know, with the, um, Solus OS and Antergos, so, yeah, it might be, it might depend on the, uh, desktop environment, I'm not totally sure, I'm sorry guys. Well, alright, so, accessories, we have Archive Manager, uh, yeah, Calculator, uh, wait, I already looked at these. Okay. Let's see. I was going to look at one of the apps in here. What was it? Um, might have been in here. I was going to look at an app. Huh. I cannot find it, but I, I was going to show you guys one. Um, 
But for now, I'm just going to look at the um, calculator real quick. You know, because I'm always about that, seeing what the calculator looks like in my review videos. Um, yeah, you got very nice, you know, everyday typical cinnamon um, calculator. Very nice. And, um, let's see. Discs. Um, yeah, you can see right here, it's just free space. You know, nothing's there. It's just perfectly, just beautiful, just free space. Um, might be able to edit this partition uh, and make it larger. Yeah, I don't, I'm not used to this. Well, alright. Let's go ahead, ha ahead and look into the Nemo file manager. So, here we have our file. So you got the home directory and that is of course going to have your typical desktop uh, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, videos, and that's what I'm recording right now, video.mkv. Um, so yeah, everything that I just mentioned is right here. File system. You got all of these nice files. Um, yeah, you got your trash. There was my attempt of recording this video before the one I'm recording right now. Uh, network. Okay, so yeah, network. I'm, I'm, I've never been too sure about what the network does. Windows Network. Okay, well, uh, let's see. I want to go ahead and look into the applets. So, where is it? There it is. Applets. So, um... Available applets online. Uh, let's see if I'm able to customize it um, pretty good. Not going to wait for that to load. Anyway, yeah, you see here you've got some pretty nice um, ones. Like you got this menu down here. Um, cinnamon menu, you've got that down there already on screen keyboard. So if you guys don't know yet, my uh, computer is touchscreen. So. Um, I could go ahead and click on my touchscreen computer and start typing. <laughs> Let's actually test that out. Um, Chromium. Alrighty. Let's do something like um, search easy sit. See if it'll show up. Yeah, I'm not sure any of this is, you know, easy sits channel, but. Uh, as I said in my solo OS video, check him out. He's really awesome. He also made such a nice video. Like, I was so happy after he made this video. It'll be as a link in the description. Um, the video was called, um, it was like Tech Bismo. Uh, the, the future of Linux reviews is bright or something. Uh, yeah, that will be in the description. So, um, let's see. Let's search Google in Google. Not Google or Google. We have our Google right there. Click on that. Oh, oops. Alright, so it looks like this type of cinnamon desktop is very, you know, touchscreen friendly, um, especially if it's an Antergos, because Linux Mint is normally not as uh, tablet f or um, touchscreen friendly, um, I guess I could say so. Um, let's see if my channel will show up. Wow. Okay, we have our breakfast video. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that's enough looking at that keyboard. Um, let's close that out, or minimize it. Alright. <clears throat> power manager, yeah, these are part of the applets still. Let's close you out. Okay, office. Let's make sure that um, office is everything. Um, this is just LibreOffice, right? Does it not? Do I have to install it? Guess I might have to. Anyway, so uh, what else was I going to look at? You have um, your default video um, software, which is not good. I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend installing VLC. Let's see if. Nope. It doesn't come pre installed with the VLC. So, uh, software. So this is the software center. Okay, software center, let's see. VLC, do we have it? Yep, we do. Um, one pending operation. Commit. Type in our password. 
and we are installing VLC. So, uh, Kaden Live, let's see if we have Kaden Live in here. We do. Uh, Telegram. We also have Telegram, so are those the actual Telegram apps? Like, do I have to, or do I have to download it still from the website? I don't know. I'll, I'll find out later. Well, um, so of course you have the easy, you know, changing desktop and stuff. Um, you can open in terminal, so you'll be in the desktop directory. Um, yeah. You'd see there, there's the uh, nice graphical calendar. Um, <clears throat> you got the setting to use 24 hour clock, and that's on by default. Um, yeah, there's there's a little tutorial in Antergos if you'd like to turn it off or on. Display the date. Yeah, that's too long. Uh, display seconds. We don't really need that. That will be kind of a waste of space, in my opinion. Okay. Um, actually, I don't know why I closed that out. I was actually just about to say, let's have a look into the system settings. Okay, we are here. So here you have backgrounds, effects, fonts, themes, accessibility, account details. So let's look at that. Account details, you can select a picture. I'm going to do a little kitty because, you know, most Linux reviewers love cats. <laughs> Applets, uh, date and time, desklets, desktop, extensions, general, hot corners, notifications panel, uh, preferred applications, privacy, privacy, screensaver, startup applications, windows, windows, window tiling, workspaces, color, display, graphics tablet, keyboard, mouse, and touchpad, network, power management, printer, sound, system info. Okay, operating system, Antrigos Linux, cinnamon version, 3.4.6. Um, Core i5 4210U CPU, dual core 1.7 gigahertz. It does have a um, um, turbo speed of turbo boost of um, 2.7 gigahertz. So it's a, it's an okay computer. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and down here administration, manage services and units, users and groups, and the themes. Um, yeah, you've got, you can pick between a lot of, um, themes. I like the Numix, uh, Frost. Is this the one I'm, I normally look at? Numix Square, Numix. Numix Frost Light. Huh, I don't know why it's not showing, like, the black theme, like I normally have in my Ubuntu Mate setup. Alright. Numix Frost desktop. Oh, so you can do. Is there Mint Y? Hmm. What about Linux Mint? <laughs> I actually quite like that. So, yeah, it's it's pretty customizable as well. Um. Leave that like it is. There we are. Uh. So it's pretty nice. It's it's a pretty nice distribution. I would recommend this. Um, as a main system distribution. Now I, I can actually recognize my apps <laughs> because it has the uh, Linux Mint theme or the Cinnamon. Is it is it Cinnamon theme? No, I'm, that's the Software Center. Anyway, installed. Yeah, you have a bunch of these um, things installed for the repositories, terminal, and all of your apps. Yeah. Um, so more in the menu. Uh, there's not much to explain about this distribution, um, except for really the menu and the settings and all of these apps they have in here. Um, so yeah, uh, right here you got sound and video. So yeah, simple screen recorder, uh, music, Brasserio or Brasero, pulse audio, volume control, QT V4 LT. L2 test utility simple screen recorder videos VLC media player administration um, who is software update we should have a look at that so updates um installed so am I up to date please tell me I'm up to date your system is up to date woo okay um 
graphics. I guess we can have a look at the photos. Yeah, it is a very nice put together um, distribution. Um, it has had a lot of help with Cinnamon and stuff. And Cinnamon, as you all know, is a great desktop environment. And Linux Mint is a great Linux distribution. Uh, if we quickly have a look on distrowatch.com, so distrowatch.com, we'll have a look at what is at the top of the list. I'm assuming it's Mint. Yep, we have Mint, Debian, Manjaro, Ubuntu, and Turgos at 5, and that's, yeah, what I'm using right now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and change that, because that's a little ugly, so settings... Uh, themes. Am I able to change my theme? Um, here we are. There we go. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I guess that is it with the review. I guess I have covered everything that is super important, um, with that. So, well, yeah, guys, I, I guess that is it. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, like and subscribe if, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will be seeing you guys all in my next one. Bye, everybody!